Welcome to CrossFit Guildford, or otherwise known as motion training. Now, for those of you who have been on my channel for a really long time, will know that I've already been to a gym called Motion before. But basically, the people who owned Motion Cyberton, which is another location within England, opened another gym called Motion Guildford. These are owned by the same people, and they just decided to expand further and open a gym in Guildford, UK, England. So the CrossFit Cyberton, which is their first gym that they had, was a really, really cool gym, and I will link up here so that you guys can go and watch that if you do want to. Super, super cool gym, full of really, really good athletes, people who are games level, so pretty big. So let's jump right in with a tour of their new gym, Motion Guildford or CrossFit Guildford. So located right near Guildford Town Centre, Motion is on like a mini industrial estate. It looks pretty unassuming from the outside, but it opens up to a huge gym space on the in inside. It's all built around like a single rig with space either side of the gym, which hosts everything that you could need for the drop-in, whether you're a beginner or whether whether you're a more experienced CrossFit athlete. For those of you earlier on in your journey in the gym or your journey in CrossFit, this gym has a really great set of coaches, a really reliable set of coaches, a really knowledgeable set of coaches, which if you need help, they are there to help you and they have a wealth of experience with stuff that they can help you with. There's certain coaches who are really good with gymnastics, other coaches who are really good with lifting. So that way you have someone that you can always go to if you do need help with something. And in the time that we were there, we were there for only open gym, but in all of the times that we were there during open gym, Gym. There always seemed to be a coach lingering around somewhere or someone standing around somewhere so that if you do need help earlier on, if you're not as experienced and you have some questions, they will be there to answer them and more than happy to do so. Now for the more experienced athlete, like if you're someone who needs a lot more like equipment, they have got lots of stuff, lots of good things. So the more experienced athlete will find all the different equipment required for more advanced training, such as a handstand ramp. And they have this really cool thing that I've not seen before. So all around the outside of the gym is like a handstand push-up like zone, handstand push-up, soft matting, which goes all the way around the outside of the gym so that you don't need like a mat for your head. And it's just really soft and really nice. It's a great tool to have. And they also have a worm. So if you're looking for team training and you need like the handstand ramp, all that sort of stuff, they have it all and they have the worm, which is something that always comes up if you train in a team or if you want to compete in a team environment. So that way you have it, you can practice, you guys can become more efficient at it, you can become better at it, and you can become all round better athletes. The gym also has four ski ergs, five rows, plenty of echo bike, plenty of bike ergs, loads of dumbbells, kettlebells, barbells, and plates. And they also have one runner, if that is what you need. I know that a lot of gyms tend not to choose to have runners because they take up a lot of space. They're really heavy and they're not as easy to move as other like equipment like the ski, uh, like the ski, the bike, and the echo. They all have wheels, so they're easy to move. Runners obviously don't have wheels. This gym is also aesthetic as hell. Like it is, if you are someone who looks to have have like good lighting, cool gym backgrounds, like super aesthetic looking industrial chic type vibes. This gym is great for you and it'll look great on your Instagram. I should also mention, I didn't get any footage of this because I forgot because I went up to use the showers and just forgot to take it, but they have got five or four sets of individual showers which have like, it's like own individual changing room. So you walk into the room, it has a shower at the end, a little bench on the side, a mirror, hair dryer, everything that you could need to do to like get changed and stuff. And then when you come out, there is like a separate station which has straighteners and all that sort of stuff, deodorant, soap, everything's in the showers that you need. The showers are super clean, I have to say I showered in it, I don't usually like showering in the gym, but I didn't mind it so much because the shower was clean, it was nice, it was warm, it had its own little radiator that you could turn on and off if you were cold. Very all round pleasant experience, much much enjoyed. Here are three things that I absolutely loved about motion training in Guildford or CrossFit Guildford. So number one, I always look for like personal touches in a gym that make it unique to other gyms and this comes in lots of different forms. I remember when I went to a gym in Alicante which was called Whale Pacific Whale CrossFit they had like a little box towards the entrance of the gym which had little pieces of paper on top and little pens so that you could make recommendations pop them in there and it's anonymous and you can just make feedback. That way they know what they're doing well and what they're not doing so well. I really love that sort of stuff. For Motion Guildford they had loads of tiny little whiteboards with white whiteboard pens so that you could take the whiteboards and like write your workout down and have all your workout on a whiteboard. It's a really nice thing to have. I know it sounds like a bit weird but for someone like me who loves writing down my whole session so I have it as well as like writing down stuff so that I can see what I'm supposed to do while I'm in a workout because I have seem to have short term memory loss when it comes to training. The little whiteboards and the pens love it. Really really nice touch. Number two whilst I was there I did a train with the coaches session which is on Saturday. Basically what it is is after the open 
open gym they have like a slot of time where you can train with the coaches and kind of does what it says on the tin but it was really fun because it felt like we were able to train with people who were higher level than me they're definitely better than me and it was fun to kind of like push myself and test myself it was fun to just train with people who were really good at crossfit because it kind of gives you like a benchmark or like an earmark of what you should be looking to achieve and how good it should be so i really really liked that we could train with the coaches and experience what that was like and number three is just like a personal preference for me i love when a gym is like really bright and airy i have like a weird thing for skylights love love skylights or velux or whatever people want to call it velux is the brand of skylights that you get skylights are so nice because it brings so much brightness and so much light into the gym it makes you feel like you're not working out in like a dungeon so it's really nice it's like a bright and airy and it feels like there's loads of like air lots of gyms that i go to feel kind of stagnant and feel like they need to open the windows but Motion Guffle was really nice, really airy, and I really, really enjoyed it. It should also be said that the whole gym itself was super clean. I always appreciate that because after a session, if my hands are like dirty and black, I don't like it. It makes me feel like a bit like inside. So I really, really appreciate the space, the light, and the cleanliness of the gym. Now, I was going to try and do three things that I didn't like about this gym, but I could only come up with two. So we're going to do two things that I don't like about this gym. Number one is the price. Now, I don't know whether it's because I'm used to gyms that aren't as expensive in Spain. So when you go back to England, CrossFit gyms are just this price. I don't know. My main problem is that we went there for, we were in England for 10 days. And we went there and said, listen, like we need to, like we're here for 10 days. Is there anything that you can do open gym wise? Because otherwise it's 15 pounds for every drop in. So for me and Ross, that's 30 pounds every single day for like 10 days, which is 300 euros, pounds, whatever. So it was really expensive and I thought, okay, maybe they'll do like a week pass thing or like a buy five sessions or whatever it might be. But we were met with pretty much like, like they just don't do that. They're just not interested in that. And for me, I just think CrossFit is so much like based on like community and feeling and all that sort of stuff that if you've got two people that are going to be coming a lot in your gym just like make like a like a bundle price or something just just something for me personally it made me not want to go because i didn't like it felt like unfriendliness as opposed to the price like i understand i obviously understand it's a business but at the same time we're two people we're going to be coming a lot can you just like do like a price for like a week pass or if we pay for eight sessions can you give us two sessions free or something like that but we didn't have that so i felt like a little bit hard done by on the price side my number two thing that i don't like is so with the rig that is down the center of the gym my problem with it is that all of the bars are at like super different like levels of height so they only had like two spots well four spots but obviously like the, when they're facing each other two people can't use it at the same time two spots with the same height that me and ross would use other ones were like super super high other ones were really low obviously i understand that you have like shorter people that need to have the lower ones but the ones that were super high didn't really make any sense and my other problem with the rig is that you have the rings on the inside so if you have someone tall say my height and then me who wants to do the rings you can't do it at the same time because you would just end up kicking each other so I thought the rig like wasn't thought out as well as it could have been that was my only thing the rig didn't make any sense to me so like when you go it's like a bit awkward and a bit weird and you have to ask people you know it's just like it's just uncomfortable so I would have just thought it would have been better to just make it like a standard height for a regular like, tall person and then have like a few short people stations and a few like super tall people stations for anybody who doesn't live in the uk and does want to go and do a drop-in you can drive there there is there's plenty of space out the front and out the back their open gym times are actually pretty good we went from i want to say 12 until like about four or five o'clock so there's like a big chunk of the in the middle of the day which is free obviously if you don't have your middle of the day free there isn't really any open gym times outside of that so you would have to do a class if you wanted to train in the evening or if you wanted to train in the morning I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of Motion Guildford. If you do go down there and give it a go, do let me know in the comments below. I would love to know what you think. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. I should say that we will be doing a lot more gym tours now because we're finally able to travel. So make sure you stay tuned for that because this is what I love doing the most is traveling and experience loads of different gyms. So stay tuned because it's going to be really, really exciting and I'm absolutely buzzing about it. Okay. Bye.